So we're going to use this rope to establish the line of the ball. And Ty knows that he's one pass away, so he needs to be up on the rope and then take a step back, Ty, like we showed you. So you step off the line of the ball, get your left hand up and in the passing lane as well as you can. Now, when we use the term flat triangle, he's in a perfect spot right now, All right? But here's why we use this term. If we actually take this rope and wrap it around him and take it back to the point of the ball, we now have what's called a flat triangle. All right? Visually, I want you to see it. And in the game, at all times, one guy has the ball, and if I brought a bunch of rope out here and we're playing five on five, we'd have ropes all over the place. You'd have your own flat triangle, he'd have his, he'd have his, and he'd have his. And on every pass, the challenge of defense is, on every pass, all the triangles change. Why? Because people move and the ball moves. And when that happens, all the angles change, if you can picture that. So I want to show you step towards the line of the ball, step towards the line of the ball, all right? That's not the kind of flat triangle we're talking about, okay? He's much too close, okay? Go all the way almost to the block. Stop. That's not a flat triangle. He's in the wrong position on the floor. Something bad's going to happen, like pass in a three. Okay? Get back up where you were, where you were too close to the line of the ball. Something bad's going to happen here, like a back cut. All right? So, flat triangle. Very good. Get, get back in the proper position. I don't know about you guys. I hope that helps. I know for me, it's always visually, it's, it's been good. I always want my players to see this. Okay, and it happens all over the floor. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to put you two passes away. Okay, let's send the ball over there. We started with the ball here, and it came to here, and you became one man removed, and we showed your, your proper flat triangle. The ball now, Ty, is going to go here, and you are now going to be two passes away. All right, the same thing. Guys, it's the same thing. Where's the line of the ball? Line of the ball is always a direct line between the ball and the guy you're guarding. You have to know where that line is at all times. Okay? You are at least one step, if not a little bit more. When you're two passes away, you can be a little bit more off the line of the ball. You can get back a little bit more. Because you, you still got to be able to see both. You're in pistols, ready to get there on a pass ready to help on the ball. You're guarding three things right now. That one, that two, that three. So we're gonna wrap this around Ty and take this back to the ball. All right, what do you guys see? What's that called? Flat triangle, all right? Flat triangle. You get in this position and you are in the right position on the floor. Now, let's do this. Get closer to the line of the ball. Closer to the line of the ball, closer to the line of the ball. Okay, something bad's gonna happen, right? He's in the wrong spot on the floor. Yeah, back cut. Okay, back up all the way to the rim. All the way to the rim. Okay, that is not a flat triangle. Okay, that's bad math right there. Bad math will get you beat every single time. So you know right now, based on these three points, that's a bad triangle. All right, get up where you should be. Okay, good, right there. Very good. It's pretty basic, but boy, I'll tell you what, if you, guys can, if you guys can get this down, it's huge. Now, at the same time, you'd have the ball, right? Okay? And understand that at the same time, okay, you would also have a rope, and there would also be another triangle. If you're back at the rim, that's way too deep. That's no good. If you're up here, that's no good, because you can't guard the ball on a baseline drive. You can guard both from there. 